Hi, it's Phil Healy from Inclusive Music and welcome to this video which is on the Alessis V125 which as far as I'm concerned is the perfect MIDI device for BandLab. Let's have a look. So let's get up some virtual instruments in BandLab. Here we can see the MIDI instruments. Let's click. Automatically we get a piano by default. The first thing we need to do is go to the MIDI device. In this case, it's the Alessis V125. I'm going to click there. But at the moment, I want to concentrate on the beautiful Creator Kits. So we go to Piano and Creator Kits. And here they are. Now basically there are a series of samples which can be triggered by, well in many different ways, we could actually trigger it on the QWERTY keyboard. Which is absolutely fantastic because if you don't have a keyboard you can get creative straight away. You can also touch the screen if you have a touch screen. Which is just like an iPad, very nice. But today we're looking at the Alessis V125, a product which I have just purchased because I wanted the capacity to have 16 pads, exactly like the Creator Kit, and also the keyboard right next to it so I can use the virtual instruments that use the keyboard. I must admit I have not been disappointed. It delivers exactly what I wanted. So let's have a look and let's see what we can be doing with this. I've loaded the Black Cat Creators Kit. That currently is the default kit. When you load it up this is what you get. So let's just step through some of the sounds. To record them, all we need to do is go up to the red record button and let's try and put something together. stop and there we have it recorded. Let's have a quick listen. And of course when we have recorded it we can edit it by double clicking here and there are the notes that we played or I played and if I wanted to, for example, quantize them, I could just press Control A, select them all, and choose a quantized value. In this case, maybe an eighth of a note. Quantize, they move slightly, and put it into perfect time. And this, I've noticed, for example, is 99 beats per minute. And some of the creator kits are in different tempos, so it's useful to know which are which. A really nice way to start getting some creative ideas. Straight into the creator kits, they can suggest some ideas, and then you start pulling in samples from the different sample packs in PanLab. 
Okay, let's have a look at another one. The classic hip hop creator kit. Let's try and put something together. So let's see what we get. to the next one, Digital Dub Creators Kit. So there is a really nice chord progression. That would be a great start to a song. And I love the idea of creating music with patterns. And the patterns of a 4x4 four 16-bar four grid are really interesting. Backwards and forwards here. So that works really nicely. We'll discover some more patterns later, maybe. There we go again. Let's see if they go together. They do. Perfect. These creator kits, they seem really random. Sometimes it works, sometimes they've got some really strange sounds. But it really leads you to be creative, to be experimental, which I think is a great thing in music. move on the dubstep creator kit Okay, moving on, EDM Creator Kit. So generally speaking, we've got a kick drum there in most of the Creator Kits, a snare there, hi-hat often, some form of cymbal, but it's not always the case. Okay, so I've just realized this is a really long sample. Thank you. 
go anywhere. It's always a good idea to be recording as you experiment because you never know. You may not get it back. Festive creator kit. Yes, believe it or not, we're talking Christmas. I'm not even going to go there yet. We'll look at that in December next time. Future Bass. Nice little rhythm there. By the way, that just reminded me to point out that Alessis V125 is touch sensitive. So if I just tap this gently, very quiet, let's bring it up. And then the full whack. many great features. Let's go on. G-Funk Creators Kit. Interesting. Glitch Creator Kit. Nice little uh, bass line there. Let's 
Moving swiftly on to the Grime Creators Kit. Creators kit. So much choice, it's incredibly creative. Let's try the K-pop creators kit. to the lo-fi creator kit there's two of these nice
Lo-Fi Creator Kit 2. What's next? The Modern Hip Hop Creators Kit. Okay. It's probably as well to hit all of them first and find out what they are. I just get too excited. And you notice on some of these creator kits, it's what they call choke, where one sample cuts another one out. They used to have them on drum machines where the open hi-hat would be cut out by the closed hi-hat, so making it sound a little bit more authentic. Here, uh, this sound cuts off. So some, it seems, you can play together and some will cut each other out. Hours and hours of fun to find out about that. Organic Pop Creator Kit. Let's see what else we have. Retro Future Synth Creator Kit. A lot of these sounds are taken from the actual loop packs. Uh, that means if you're doing a loop pack or you've started with a loop pack, you can then go into the Creator Kit and see what else you have uh, to, to play with.
let's move on. R&B Creator Kit, version one. For something I forgot to mention, on the Alessis V125, we can, with the pitch wheel, change the sample's pitch and speed. I believe we can record that. So let me just delete that one and go into record and see if the pitch changes are recorded. Fantastic. Let's have a listen, see if it's recorded. Perfect. So another element of creativity by just using the pitch wheel. You have got to be a little bit careful, especially if you're doing something in a particular speed, tempo, then obviously if you speed it up, or you pitch it higher, 127 there, and it's got a rhythm, that's in the middle, slows it down, speeds it up. But we can have a lot of creative fun with this, even though the rhythm changes. Loving it. Let's go to the R&B Creator Kit 2. Let me remind you that BandLab is absolutely free. If you're watching this video, all you need to do now is go to bandlab.com, sign up with your name and your email address, and you have access to hundreds of virtual instruments, over 2,000 loops in over 60 different styles of music, 60 different genres. It is unbelievable. What are you waiting for? Stop this video, get out and play. Fun for all the family. Sinister Creator Kit. A lot of these are very new. In other words, you will see a sign in the left hand corner that says Band Lab has improved and they will have added another 10 Creator Kits overnight. It's incredible what Band Lab and Band Lab Technologies is delivering. Completely free. Did I mention it was free? It's free for life. No spam, no nothing. It's unbelievable.
Sinister Synth Pop Creator Kit. Trip Hop Creators Kit. Now at the moment, what I'm doing, I haven't got a Wi-Fi connection, so I am tethering with a phone at the same time as filming as well. And even then, we're getting a download and we can create music literally on the bench, on the bus, at the airport, you name it. We can be seriously mobile musicians with our mobile phone giving us an internet connection. Tropical House Creator Kit. So that's a nice uh, tune. Let's just put that on uh, loop or cycle, nine bars, and I'm going to add a new track. Add track and a MIDI instrument down here to the piano icon, and let's get up those uh, creator kits again. And I want to go down to Tropical House because I've noticed that, for example, this group of sounds goes really well with the track. Uh, this is the education version, by the way. In the, in the education version, you can see I can set an assignment brief for my students and an assignment description with step-by-step -step instructions how to get the effect I'm after. This one is about putting on vocals, uh, sorry, putting on effects for vocals and just listening to how they sound until you picked the one that you think is suitable. And it helps you learn about effects. For now, let's just remove that and so we can see more of the track. So I'm gonna play um, the, the recorded sounds, these samples, which are 
mainly used, uh, mainly put, pulled in from the loops here. 60, more than 60 loops, and I've used the R&B Essentials here. And then as a vocal. And so I'm going to add on now some of the sounds from Just a few ideas there of what can be done with these kits and mixing them up with the loops from the loop packs. Last one we've got is Underground Trap Creator Kit at the moment. This is the end of January 2019. Who knows what Band Lab will produce and, and release in the future. Here we go. I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial and had a, a feel for what can be done with the creator kits and a MIDI keyboard. Now you don't need a MIDI keyboard like this, the Alessis V125, but if there is any device that you're going to buy for use with Bandava and of course all the other doors, digital audio workstation like Ableton Live, Logic, Cubase, you name it, this is an amazing keyboard. I've only touched the surface, as you can see, I've not really looked at the uh, switches here, up and down tempo roll and the transport controls or any of these knobs and buttons, which can be programmed really nicely through the uh, Alessis V125 software. That means we can actually change any pad, any key to anything else. We can program the knobs, the switches, the drum pads, roll mode, transport, key bed, modulation and pitch, sustain. An awesome piece of kit. I am said I'm just touching the surface. I love Ableton Live as well, so I'm really going to get to grips with that and hopefully produce a video using that with this software. But for now, for Band Lab, this is the number one piece of kit. And I encourage you to try it out, have a go, see what it's like. If you like it, there's a link down below to purchase it. I will get a small commission for that, but I must make it really clear. I only promote equipment, if you like, that I love and that I recommend, and I'm very choosy. I've had over 30 years experience in music technology, and when I find something good, I get it out there and I tell people about it. BandLab, as I said, is unbelievable. It's free, it always will be. You can collaborate all across the world if you're on the public version and if you're in the education version for uh, sorry education version for teachers and students then you've got a walled garden very safe and it means you can bring this into the classroom for free it's safe it's FERPA compliant and it's available on any device with an internet connection what are you waiting for 
Get making music and expressing yourself. Enjoy. See you on the next video.